Rio de Janeiro is the second most populous city in Brazil, lying on the Atlantic coast in the southeast of the country, with over 6.5 million people in the actual city and around 12.5 million people in the surrounding area. Rio is an important city for Brazil, as well as South America. Until 1960, Rio was the capital city of Brazil. It's now the cultural capital of Brazil, a World Heritage Site and holds one of the world's largest and most famous carnivals annually. Rio also hosted the 2014 World Cup as well as the 2016 Olympic Games. Rio is a major port, exporting coffee, sugar and iron ore. It's also a major economic hub with manufacturing industries as well as service industries such as banking. Tourism is a huge benefit for Rio with stunning beaches and amazing natural surroundings, as well as attractions like Christ the Redeemer statue, one of the new seven wonders of the world. Rio is certainly a global city with importance for the immediate region, the nation and international companies. Rio has grown rapidly over the last 50 years with economic activities through industrial, commercial, tourist and administrative development attracting many migrants to the city. Migrants have come from many parts of Brazil, such as Amazonia, as well as neighbouring countries like Bolivia, Argentina and Uruguay. With common language ties, Portuguese migrants have been attracted to life in Rio, whilst Chinese, South Korean, American and British workers have all been attracted by Rio's economic development and opportunities. Rio is divided into four main zones. The North Zone has an international airport and the impressive Maracanã football stadium along with being home to the main industrial and port area. It's also an area with low quality housing and slums, known as favelas. To the west, there's also low quality housing near to the industrial area of Campo Grande, around the steelworks. The Olympic Stadium and Athletes Village is also here. The west is an area where lower class suburbs have been developed into luxury apartments, as well as shopping malls and tourist facilities. The southern zone was developed following the building of tunnels through the mountains, and this is now where Rio's main beaches, like Ipanema and Copacabana, where their hotels are situated. Although this is the wealthiest district in South America, it is overlooked by the largest favela in South America, Rocinha. Finally, there's the central zone, which is the oldest part of the city and the main shopping area. It also has many historical buildings, along with the financial center and the headquarters of some of Brazil's largest companies. Rio de Janeiro's rapid growth and its physical geography has led to many great opportunities as well as many challenges for this great city to overcome.